With us now are Maria Kapp and Seth Gilliam. Welcome both to the show. How are you? Good, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. So earlier today, we actually filmed a scene uh, together for your new film. Maria, tell us about your film. The Legend of Lake Ronkonkoma, The Lady of the Lake, uh, formerly titled The Legend of Princess Ronkonkoma, is a story that I wrote uh, during the pandemic, actually. I had a concept of a psychological thriller, and then I just incorporated the time that I spent during the pandemic staying in my parents' home, the house I grew up in. And I just combined a bunch of childhood memories with the myth, the legend, the curse, and some personal experiences that I have with loss. I think it's interesting, don't you, that she grew up in Ronkonkoma and that the film Seth is based upon that? Yes. Because yes. instead of an outsider, she's an insider, right? <laughs> exactly. There's <laughs> lots of inside information that, uh, that uh, Maria can give us. Now tell us about your role and why you decided to say yes to Maria. Uh, I play Adam Schultz, who's the uh, father of, uh, I, I believe it's a, to me it's a coming of age story about um, it is. Uh, Jamie Schultz, uh, who's Adam's 17 year old daughter in the film. And uh, I basically play uh, a parent who is dealing with the tragic loss of one of their other children. Um, in the film, and uh, I came to it mostly because uh, I thought that it was a a sad and sweet tale when I read it, and um, and it was a direct offer, so I didn't have to audition. So <laughs> she's like, "You're the easy. one that I want. Yes, <laughs> you're the one that I want." <laughs> <Yeah. Ooh, ooh. laughs> now, Seth, you also are originally from New York, correct? I am. Okay. Um, and actually, you're almost exactly the same age as my younger brother. I was like, oh, they have like the same kind of mm. birthday and everything. So uh, growing up here in New York, you started out as an actor. You've had some amazing roles in your journey. Any special highlights for you personally that you say, wow, you know what? I'm so glad I had that opportunity. Um, I did the uh, Playwrights Horizons Young Playwrights Festival for three years in a row when I first got out of school. Um, playing different characters in different plays written by teenage playwrights. And it remains uh, one of the seminal experiences in my career, even though I've, you know, it's almost years ago. <laughs> um, it, uh, it, it still sticks with me. I, I try to, to, uh, to bring the same kind of excitement and, and exuberance uh, that I got reading these, these fantastic plays by these teenage playwrights. Um, to uh, to everything that uh, that I do. Um, so, though I've been on many different TV sets and film sets and, and stages uh, across the country, um, that that remains uh, one of uh, one of the highlights of my career. I appreciate you sharing that with us. And Maria, one of the highlights of my career is like an early article that you wrote about me, where my kids were all lined up on a slide when I first started the show 15 years ago. And how about for you? What what's personally sticks out for you? Is either an early success or something that kind of brings you joy, that resonates around with you? I have to say that, um, similar to what Seth just described, I've been involved with uh, NISTEA, New York State Theater Education Association, and I've directed uh, young playwrights. We have a weekend showcase during the student conference and it's a 24-hour turnaround. We cast, we select and vet the script prior and then we facilitate casting uh, and then I work with one of the director, one of the playwrights and the talent and we turn it around and put it up. And I, I just got chills saying that but that, that also for me is one of the highlights of my career. It's working with emerging people, which I'll just loop back around, which is why um, this piece is really important. I've kept it very close to that same feeling to teach, to give, to pay forward. This is not the first rodeo for me in terms of a business and, and to per se or a career. So I just feel compelled to giving people an opportunity. And most of the people on our set are young women women my age who may not readily get an opportunity to work in the chosen vocation in this industry on set. And then we have a lot of students and interns and young people that may not have gotten the opportunity because they live on Long Island. They don't have access to the markets um, where this business predominantly takes place. So It's interesting you said that because I've noticed that too. Like a lot of our interns now are like local you know, because they, they don't want to go to the city or things in the city have shut down, but yet here we're still able to thrive to a degree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do you find is a 
bit of advice that you'd like to give some up and coming actors as a seasoned veteran yourself? Uh, think real thoughts. Um, people come to the theater or they turn on their TV because they want to believe, they want to take the journey. So if you're thinking real thoughts and um, if you're true to the character you're trying to play, I think that uh, uh, resonates with, the, with an audience. I think they can see that. I think it helps them to uh, suspend their disbelief and take the journey with you. Um, it's basically the, the, just the key thing to acting is, is believing what you're saying and thinking real thoughts. It's really nice. And you also have done some acting too, Maria, right? Yeah. You do in front of the camera, behind the camera. Well, you know, have, like you're a Jacqueline of all trades. Well, I haven't <laughs> been in front of the camera in, in quite some time, although I'm a ham. <laughs> and put me on the spot and I can make anybody laugh, do a dance, whatever. Um, as a matter of fact, last night we did a party in my uh, parents' basement and it was very deja vu. I was jumping oh. and bopping up and down like one of the teenagers. Oh, I love that. Um, but uh, I don't remember what the question was, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> just, just advice, but yeah, thinking of hopping and bopping, it reminded me too of my childhood youth. Um, we had this one kid, his name was Soda Freak, because he would literally take the ice bucket and he'd pour a whole thing of Pepsi into the ice bucket, and that was his glass for the night. So I won't say if there's anything else in the ice bucket, I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah. um, I would just say, I, I want to say my advice to anyone, especially... The, 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 the folks, even young men, you know, just anyone wanting to do this, uh, you have to ask questions. You have to pretend you know what you're doing, <laughs> even when you don't know what you're doing. It's better to say, stand by, I'll get back to you on that. And I think that's the same lesson in, in any vocation or job you have. It's to pretend that you know the answer. And if you don't know the answer, not be afraid to say, I'm not really sure, but let me get back to you and make the person that's asking or seeking the information comfortable that, you, that they're going to get the information that they need, whether it's right there on the spot or five minutes later. I also think um, attitude of gratitude, you know, like a little quick note, and I'm sure you both did this coming up in your career. Somebody did something nice for you, right? They gave you a part or something, you know, no matter what, just send a little just to jot a little note, you know, mm -hmm. like, hey, thank you so much for the opportunity. I really enjoyed this or that, you know, because those are the people that you tend to want to build your community around that will invite you to do parts, yeah. I, I would think. That's a great tip. Right? It is a good tip. Yeah. So it's fun to have you both here. Um, it was exciting. It's a little bit of a hustle and bustle in our studio today. Oh, my gosh. You we were fantastic. Yeah. On the same day, oh, thank you. On the same day we were doing this show. But I thank you both. Happy journeys to you. Continued success. Continued uh, success to you too, Maria. Thank you. I'm Thank really, you. I'm really uh, proud to know you both, and uh, you know it's going to be a great show. I can't wait. So people are going to buy tickets. It's going to be showing here. I hope in Long Island yes. soon. We'll and when do you do think? It. And when do you think you're going to wrap? I know that well, the next part is all in the well, editing. But well, Raffaella is a producing partner. She helps okay. me in all post edit creating, creative producing. So she said we got to get on this and wrap it up sooner than later. I'm thinking the first quarter of 2023, but. It could be sooner. All right, exciting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Thank stay you. tuned for more. We've been living it up right here with Seth and Maria. We hope we can follow you with your dreams coming true. So send me an email. I'd love to hear what you're doing. Be well.